Hopefully my mic is working. Hello and welcome to the Mars main stage and to the women's show. I'm really excited to be here, mostly just because I saw one of my childhood friends over in the corner there, so I'm going to have a good catch up afterwards. And I'm thrilled to be here representing Mark's, a really iconic Canadian brand that we all know and love. And I'm sure you're aware that they've got a great line of women's clothing. So today I'm going to talk about finding your fit and styling your life and how you can feel confident in the best you and kind of find that personal look that suits your style. I work as a stylist both in Canada and the United States. In Canada, I work off a lot of shows like City Line and ET, travel over to Vancouver and Calgary, and really work with real women, helping them find looks that work amazing for them. When I'm in LA, I work a little bit more with celebrities and you know putting them in some fancy fashions. But it's funny, all of them as well want to go back to what's a great look for their lives every day. So today we're going to talk about finding your fit. We're going to learn how to become our own best stylist and find a signature look that works for us and works for our lifestyle. So often in fashion, we end up looking for pieces that almost wear us. We look at them, they may be wonderful and fancy, and we put them on, and they don't make us feel good. They kind of take over um, our lives. If we're going dressy, or then for day to day, we tend to not take as much care and time and thought into our fashion as we'd like, and then we go out and not feel great about ourselves. So today I'm gonna to talk about finding that great look how you can do it, and some exciting news from Mars. So today we're going to talk about becoming a style star. First, we're going to pick a style icon that reflects our personality and use them as kind of a mentor and a guide when it comes to shopping for our look. We're going to discuss what our attributes are and talk about Mark's new great pant fit line and discovering which fit is that best for us. We're going to adapt a look for our life. When you are pulling fashion, it's very important to consider, you know, am I walking around a lot? Do I live in an area that has cobblestone? I definitely want flat shoes then. You know, am I bending things? I need a flexible pant. These are some really practical things that we need to think about when we're shopping for fashion. So we pick things that really work for our lifestyle. We're going to talk about finding our fit, out with the old, how we can streamline our closet and wardrobe and the process of finding that and really owning our look. When it comes to picking a shopping profession, this is where it gets difficult. Who here, when they go into a change room, can get flustered and leave feeling horrible about themselves? I can. I recently asked a friend in Los Angeles to take me to a store that I've never been to. He's a fashion designer. And pick out some outfits that he thought I should be wearing because he said, you need more color, you need to be more LA hip. Can I tell you, I went into the store and I was stuffing myself into this sweatshirt dress, which didn't even, wasn't cut right, didn't fit over my head, I was getting hot. I got out of there and I said, please can we go hiking because I can't handle this. But it's a good reminder that it's best to shop at stores that you know and love, that you can develop a relationship with. And that way when you go into that change room, you go in feeling good about yourself. One good tip for when you're shopping is bring a pair of shoes that you think will probably go with the look that you're looking for. If it's casual, bring some great polished flats. If it's dressy, bring a pair of heels with you. Wear seam-free undergarments. And bring maybe a convertible bra with you if you're shopping for something formal and a dress. And you know what? Do your hair and put a little mascara on a red lip line. Sometimes we tend to go shopping when we're a little bit mangled and tired, and no matter what we try on, it's not going to look good because we don't feel good. Now, before we go shopping, I want you to clean out your closet. And I know we all know these rules. Toss what's all broken down and not looking good. Donate things that you're not wearing anymore. Repair things that need fixing. But I also want you to bring over your best friend, a bottle of wine, and a camera on your phone. I want you to try things, mix them, match them, try things in a different way. Have your friends suggest putting things together. Have some wine so you're nice and relaxed. Spend a good two, three hours doing this and try things on. If it doesn't work, it's out. If it works, take a picture and make a file. You can have your dressy outfits, your casual, your day wear, and then when you're ever stuck in the morning and you don't know what to wear, you can just go through your phone and remember, oh, that looks good. Those are the accessories I had. Another trick to think like a stylist, if you have room, and I live in a smaller condo and I do this myself, is have a rolling rack. I tend to think that when things 
are out of sight, they're out of mind. So you can push your rolling rack out and then organize your outfits for the week. Even hang the jewelry that you plan to wear off of it. I know this sounds crazy, but I just did Fashion Week. I was covering it, reporting on it, and I knew it was going to be a busy week, and I laid out all my outfits, and when I had to go, I could just grab it. They were already steamed and ready to go. Because in the morning, that is not a time to be thinking. Our brains aren't working yet. Okay, let's talk about style icons and finding our perfect fit. When it comes to style icons, I tend to look to the classics. If you're curvy, look to Marilyn Monroe. If you're a little leaner, look to Audrey Hepburn. And when you think of their outfits, you always think of their beauty and some very simple outfits that went with them. For example, let's talk about my sort of Audrey inspiration here, but this is actually my Mia. And this is a new pant fit for Mars, which is designed to really help women find their perfect fit. It's all about making things easier at Mars. So once you know what fit you are, you can go in, grab those great pants, and grab some top accessories and shoes to go with them. And what's great about it is I even had my assistant pick up these pants for me. They're also a Mia from Mars on Thursday, and I didn't have time to run out because of a shoot to pick them up. And I knew to tell her, size 8 Mia, get any style, whatever pattern they have, I know I'll like them. They came back, I slipped them on, and I think they look and feel great. Okay, so this is our first little model. This is Mia, and Mia stands for mid-rise. So she's a mid-rise waist, and what's great about a lot of the Mia pants is they've got this really awesome elastic waistband, but it's done in a really flattering, tapered style. So you pull them on almost like a jegging, but they're not too second skin tight. You've got a little bit of room with them, and this is great if you've got a sort of up and down figure, nice and straight, but it also works great with curvy girls who have a little bit of a butt. What I love about the Mia is that you can pair her with a tall boot when you're going casual, and it looks really chic. Often when we're putting together a casual outfit, who here does a cast off? So it's that old pair of track pants, or workout pants, a sweatshirt, throw a coat over top. It takes just as much time to pull on a great pair of Mias, a tailored boot that keeps it all in, and then a fabulous top. I love this top for Marks because stripes are always chic and very, very Audrey. And I would just push up those sleeves a little bit. No, she's not going to stay for me. Add a necklace. When you're, when you're, Mia, <laughs> she's trying to steal my mic. When you're dressing casually, add a little bit of jewelry because it can really add some flair. And then to cinch it in and show off this great waist, I just tied a knot on the shirt at the back. So that's our Mia, and she's an amazing, fabulous fit. And this comes in black, there's patterns, so really you may want to go in and check it out. Some other style icons we have is our Lola. Oh, think of Diana Ross, such a fabulous icon, and the beautiful Grace Kelly, and Lola is low rise. So she's got a great low rise fit. You can see on her waist here, which is really flattering if you're tall and lean looks really great. This is a great fit for a taller girl, or even if you're curvy and you've got a longer waist. The low rise is going to sit really nice on that. And she is in our work attire. When dressing for the office, we can tend to get a little boring, or we can tend to get stuffy and uncomfortable. Who has the person in their office that wears those noisy heels and clicks and clacks up and down? Okay, when it comes to shoes in the office, always look for comfort, butt style, and a rubber sole. Flats are absolutely great. These are from Mars, and I love them because they've got kind of that Chanel feel. They're Denver Haze, and they've got this great flexible rubber sole. Flats look great and polished. You can even roll up the cuff a little on a casual Friday. If you do go with a heel, tuck a pair of flats in your top drawer, and if you're going to go out after work or you've had an extra long day and your feet are killing you, trust, you, trust me, you will thank me. When it comes to dressing up top, Look for great cotton blazers because they're going to give you a lot of breathability because a lot of times offices will go from cold to hot. Who has that office? I work in one and it's, it's a bit, it can get a bit much. And sometimes you may want to look for a, a blazer that's unlined. A lot of times stores will put in a very cheap nylon lining in their blazers and it can really make you sweat. So this is very breathable and it's cotton. And what's fun is I just paired it with a lace tank here which is really nice and chic, 
and it's not as sort of stuffy as um, a typical collar shirt, but it looks just as refined. If you want to make it a bit more polished, you can simply tuck it into the pants. Tuck your shirt in as instant polish. And another thing that adds a little flair is just popping that collar and then pushing up her sleeves. Right there. So that looks very chic. And what I like about our Lola is that her sleeves stay up. So that's kind of a great casual wear. And that's our Lola low rise. Now we're gonna move on to our next slide. Oops, went a little too fast there. Okay, now we're on to our Chloe. Can you guess what Chloe stands for with that picture there? Curry, fabulous curves. So this is why we love Chloe, because she is all about the curves. And she has this great fit here. And you can see how much that flatters the curves. And what's nice is when you're curvy is to go with a boot cut because your curves accentuate here and then it goes out and it balances you out. And this is our going out attire. These pants are great because you can see they've got this faint little plaid pattern on there. And all of these fits come in a bunch. I just saw a great um, jacquard pattern, black, white, velvet, corduroy. There's an amazing selection of them. So this is our going out outfit. When you're going out, Again, especially this time of year, things can get hot or cold depending on where you're going. Go for a lot of drapery and flow. I love this chiffon tank. It's so beautiful. And I like that it's got this nice elastic waist. And that will cinch in and show off those fabulous curves. And if it gets hot, you can take this little sweater off. When you are putting something over top, keep the button-down cardigans for daytime wear. They can tend to look a little stuffy in the evening. In the evening, just remember, it's always about flow, drapery, movement. So this one's great because it just ties up. You can just flip it over or tie it in a little bow, add some accessories, and you're good to go. For the boots, look for a little detail. I've shown a lot of black on her outfit, but let's be honest, black is universally flattering. These are a great little booty for going out. Got some nice pattern on there. Again, we've got our flexible, comfortable sole. Comfortable shoes are everything. Make sure they still look chic, but if you're comfortable, you're going to feel more confident, and confident is really everything. When you are shopping for your winter wardrobe, most of us tend to gravitate towards black. Where you may want to add a pop of color is with a scarf, a handbag, or a winter coat. We often think that getting a dark winter coat will match everything, but you can go for a bright red or something fun, and then if you've got this black silhouette with the bright coat over top, you're creating this nice, long, lean line, which is really, really flattering. All right, who's next? Okay, we missed the fabulous Hannah. She's our high rise. This is my lovely, I love this jacket so much, and you can see when you pull this up, this is our high rise straight. This is such a universally flattering fit and what I love is that it keeps everything cinched in. It's that great classic. So if you're curvy or lean, this is gonna look amazing and be really comfortable to wear. And this is my casual outdoor gear. This is a fabulous coat. Anything that's got a little bit of military green in it is really big this season and it's gonna carry you for a lot of other seasons. It works well with black, brown, and gray. It's really flattering with everything. And this coat is great. When you're shopping for an outdoor coat, look for features and benefits, like a zipper flap to keep the wind out, warm lined pockets, and a faux fur hood will keep you nice and warm. And of course, we always need sunglasses for the outdoors. We're gonna go back to our Audrey Hepburn style icon again and just pop those on and you can see how classic that style is. If you are ever in a hurry, just pull your hair back to a low bun, throw on some red lipstick and a pair of glasses. And when you've got a great wardrobe like this, you're gonna feel so much better and confident and just face your day better. This is a great fit of pants. It's a high rise, but you can see it's also fun because it's done in this very fine corduroy that looks like velvet. So this is great for day wear and it's really nice for going out as well. And I paired her with this really fun boot. Casual boots don't always have to be flat. You can get a little bit of heel. And this is fun because it's got this nice little double zipper here. It's all really about those added details. So we've gone over our girls. We've got our Hannah High Rise, Mia Mid Rise, 
Chloe for the curvy, and Lola Low Rise. So I really encourage you to head out to Mark's, find your fit in the pants, and then start building your wardrobe from there. You always want to maximize your style by making the fit right for you. Okay, a few other additional tips. What can make us look instantly polished and chic? A scarf. Who here loves Jennifer Aniston's style? I simply think she's great. But if you break down her wardrobe, except for that red carpet, she almost always has on a pair of flat shoes, boyfriend denim, or a Mia style denim rolled up, a tank top, a scarf, and a little jacket over top, a little leather jacket. And she always has a scarf. And it just gives her that polished look. So think about, you can go onto Pinterest and there's great tutorials on how to wrap the scarf from large ones to smaller ones. Scarves can have so much flair. The little thin ones, tie them around your wrist, tie them on your purse. It's just that little extra pizzazz. One of my favorite things. And a great handbag. A signature handbag is extremely key. Marks has a great selection. And you also may want to think about an investment handbag. This is where you want to splurge a little bit. Always look for high quality leather shoes like the ones that we're showing, and then maybe a fabulous handbag to go with it. And if your friend's having a birthday party, instead of getting a bunch of little gifts from all your friends and things that she doesn't need, or even a shower or a bridal shower, everyone should be in 25 to 30 dollars. Go to that fabulous place and get her that designer handbag she's always wanted. It's really affordable to sort of do a group buy, and that's a fun way to do it and makes it very memorable for her. Okay. So we talked a little bit about cleaning out our wardrobe. We're going to sort and clean out our closet, have our clothing tailored. If something is not fitting perfectly, like a fabulous dress or something, take it to the tailor. When people are designing things, they use fit models, which we all have very unique fits, as we can see by all of our pant fits up here. And many times formal dresses, they don't offer that. Don't be afraid to use the tailor. It's less expensive than you think, and it'll make your clothes fit fabulously. Buy less high quality and find your fit. Once you know what works for you, stick with it. Update it with accessories, things like scarves and a fresh shirt and shoes, but once you know that fit and that style, make it signature, make it your own. Turn to vintage. Vintage shopping is a fun way to add that vintage little bag, or again, you can look for a scarf or a fabulous shirt or dress. It's kind of fun to add that personal touch to your wardrobe. Take risks. And most importantly, have fun. If you put something on and it looks right and it feels good, it is good. Trust yourself, go out there with confidence, know you look fabulous, and really start to embrace the fun side of fashion again. Thank you all so much for coming to my presentation. I hope to see you at a mark soon. And uh, I really hope you can find your fit and have a fabulous wardrobe. Thank you so much.